Okay, Carl Schilling back with you again. Uh, we are now on, uh, I guess, the fourth part of our basic training, okay? And we've covered quite a bit. We're going to come back to the beginning and probably the most important part of your entire career, okay? This, uh, this can't be said, I don't think, enough. Here at Financial Concierge University, we constantly try to help you with this one key element, okay? And this, believe me, this is the core of your career. Don't let anybody fool you. This is not something to be ignored. It's called prospecting, okay? Now, understand this. No matter how long you're in this career, and again, uh, I myself have had more than 42, 43 years experience in this. I'm telling you, no matter how long you're in this career, you will have to master prospecting. Now, call it what you may. A lot of people have decided to uh, go into this arena where it's a marketing job. Now, remember, we said this, and we go into much deeper, deeper than this in our Financial Concierge University, much more in depth. But I want to get it across in basic training because this never ends. It's an endless cycle. You will always, always have to prospect. Brian Tracy, when he talked about selling as a career, not just this, this career here, not just insurance, but other industries. Brian Tracy said that the real process was prospecting, presenting, and follow up. Okay, process, you know, prospect, present, and follow up. Now, uh, you get paid, uh, historically, you will earn about 20% of your income from the uh, things that you do 80% of the time. And you'll earn about 80% of your income from the things you do 20% of the time. That's the real meat and potato. That's the sales side. So you got to figure that you're selling about 20% of the time is where you're picking up about 80% of your income. Too many people come into this and, and are taught that uh, somehow they could sell 100% of the time by outsourcing their marketing and then they could sell 100% of the time. It doesn't work that way. It never has and it never will. Now, I'm not going to tell you that a blind squirrel doesn't find a uh, loose acorn now and then. So you can't look at the uh, rarities and there are. But many of those rarities are people who have spent literally six figures in their marketing, okay? So they have six-figure budgets to try to uh, drive this marketplace for them. Now, if used properly and correctly, they can probably do pretty well. However, most of the time, it's not used properly or directly, and they find that they, are, they may bring in big revenues, but they don't bring much to the bottom line as far as margins, so they have far more expenses, sometimes even losing money per sale, which we see quite often. So let's step back. Prospecting is an endless cycle. It will never, ever stop. So how do you master that? What do you really do? Okay, first thing you need is you need sources. Now, sources are data. You know, could be uh, where, you, where you find your data, where you're trying to... Uh, uh, source find the sources of the large pool of people think in terms of gold mining you know when when uh, prospectors would mine they have to put a lot of uh, soil and dirt and a lot of resource into a pan after big digging and then they they sift out from that pan to find smaller uh, nuggets right so you need to have the big funnel of sources now that's the big top of your funnel is the sources. Now, from inside that, in order to narrow your funnel, you need to identify. And identifying means you need to create a specialty, a niche. You need to create the kind of people you want to help and work with, the kind of people who are best suited for the kind of solutions you can bring to them. And that's going to be called your market. That's going to be your marketplace. That's your finer uh, uh, panning, your finer panning. When they, when they do the big mining and they start the big digging, the big digging just dumps big tons of, of, of earth into one area. And then that area starts to come into a finer panning and then a finer panning. And then before you know it, they've got the final result. They've got some gold, which is what you're trying to create at the end of the day. Okay. Now, once that's all done, which is not that hard. That part of it's not that hard. Really, anybody could do that, okay? At the end of that, then it's a matter of penetration. How are you going to penetrate the market? That's how are you going to make the approach? 
What's the approach going to be? How are you going to present that approach? And what is the approach going to get you to the discovery process? That's penetration of the market. And then, uh, guess what? You do it all again. And you continue to keep that funnel filled. That funnel is your pipeline. That pipeline should never empty. Let me tell you right now why 90% of all the people in this industry can't even last six months. Okay? Nine out of ten come in and out in six months or less. Some even quicker. But here's the problem. No one, no one has taught them the, the uh, delicacy and the real prospecting finer points. Made them understand why prospecting is not. It's not a matter of rejection. It's not a matter of fear. It's not a matter of a phone, um, you know, uh, avoiding the telephone, avoiding speaking to people. It's none of those things, okay? None of those things exist if you do all this properly. The bottom line is it's a mindset. The mindset means that you want to help people attain financial independence and you want to find a select amount of people to do that with. There's 330 million plus in, in our country. We take out children and everything, and I'm sure we're up to still about 250 million, give or take. And at the end of the day, there's plenty, plenty of sources to deal with, plenty of people to help. But it's a matter of doing this process consistently, staying in the process, and never letting your pipeline die. Most agents in this industry their pipeline gets filled, their pipeline empties, they got to refill it, they got to empty it, they got to refill it, they got to empty it. Successful agents in this business never, ever face an empty pipeline, ever. Their pipeline just keeps spitting out more and more because they keep making sure that they put things in at the top of the funnel. They keep loading the top of the funnel. They don't stop doing that. They don't get caught up in other things. They don't forget that 80% of their time is a prospecting time. They don't forget that. They know that they're going to gain that 20% of their income from their prospecting, and they know that they're going to continue to give the 80% of their time to doing it. So let's look at the tools, the tools that we selectively have at Financial Concierge University, the tools you'll get from us, the tools that we think are so important for people. And guess what? Here in this basic training, a lot of times this basic training, some agents uh, end up seeing this before they become part of Financial Concierge University. So in essence, they haven't even really invested in themselves and we're giving them some information. But these things are in our system and these are things that we use and these are things that we will help you uh, train, develop, and, and use to, to really, really saturate your prospecting. First of all, we have a video platform which you are watching as you watch. We have turned our videos, every single video, into an interactive video, which means that you have a video interaction that you can send to anybody. You can send on all different platforms, but those videos are, are interactive so people can get the information you want to give them right away. People can email you right away. People could call you at that moment, right then and there on that video. There's no need for any further back and forth and everything. It's a direct communication. It's almost like sitting alive. It's the next best thing. The only thing you can't hear is a person speaking back to you but they have the tools in the video to speak back to you anytime they want, immediately. They have the tools in the video to take down any information you want them to have, a contract, an application, a white paper, anything, a link to a site, a link to a website, a link to a landing page, a link to another video. Whatever you want and whatever you want them to have, they can have immediately in the video. And by the way, this video is fairly unique to us. It, the industry knows very little about this video platform, and we're the only ones at this point in time who have that. Email. We have email platforms that can send out for people up to 20,000 emails a week, give or take. Um, the, they don't need their constant contact. They don't need all these other things, and that's fine. Um, but if you, uh, we, we have learned a lot about email marketing. We can teach you everything we've learned, uh, but we can also teach you all of the um, – pitfalls and all the downsides and all of the uh, wasted dollars in email marketing, okay? Social media, we provide you with full content, a whole library of content that you can put on all your social media pages. We help you build the social media pages in Financial Concierge University if you need that help. You should have a Facebook personal page. You should have a Facebook business page. You should have LinkedIn. You should have um, uh, Twitter. 
And those are the three primaries. I mean, uh, some people like to use Instagram. They like to use uh, uh, Pinterest. And, uh, you know, you know uh, we, we uh, use uh, some of those ourselves. But, you know, again, we know the prime three. The prime three are Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. We give you the content so you can have an incredible library of content to continue. Now, that video platform also serves quite well on all of your social media, so you can reach out to the whole world on social media. And by the way, this is without buying advertisements, this is without investing any money uh, onto those uh, platforms. Free conference call, very few people seem to understand all of the tools that free conference call has right now. I mean, it, it really is an incredible service for free. We use Zoom as well. Zoom, I'm talking to you right now in a free Zoom account, totally free. Zoom is another great tool, okay? We have a, a magnificent uh, amount of experience with these tools, and most of them, quite frankly, most of them are free. They all have upgrades, but quite frankly, we've learned that you don't really need to use too many of the upgrades because that video platform that we are providing for you pretty much has every upgrade that these other services would want to try to sell you. Blogs. I can't tell you how important it is to blog and how, incre how incredibly important it is to create an authority presentation for yourself. If you want to create a, uh, uh, a status, uh, thought leadership positioning, you want people to think of you in those terms. That's how they'll find you. That's why they'll want to deal with you because you're separated from the white noise. Prospecting is not about joining the white noise. Prospecting is about separating from the white noise. The reason so many agents unfortunately fail is because they join the white noise and they pay four times more to be part of the white noise than they would actually have to invest to separate from the white noise. Once again, with blogs, we have a full content library we provide for you. You don't have to. I've authored four books myself. I've ghostwritten another seven. And we have plenty of people who are content rich that have no problem sharing content. But we have developed a, a content library, which is totally yours. All you need to know how to do is copy and paste or cut and paste. And if we need to have a class on that, we do it. It's not that difficult. Now, blogs are an important thing. We can show you how to set them up. We can show you where to put them. We can show you how to maximize them. And we can show you uh, how to get the proper content and the proper follow-up. And lastly, a vlog is simply a video blog. Nowadays, video is so powerful on uh, Google, on all the search engines, and all of the platforms. Everything today is about video. People uh, were a little, uh, uh, over time, people didn't like to read to begin with, and now it's even, uh, the attention span is even less. People have even less attention to actually read something. So the written content is uh, still important, but it's sometimes you're reaching, you know, the mass amount of the audience doesn't want the written content. Some do, but the mass uh, audience wants video. So the mass audience wants it uh, to be laid out for them. They want to hear it. They want to see it. They're not so, uh, uh, um, they're not so committed to reading it. So you need a combination. So the people who want to read it can see it in the blog and the people who want to uh, see it and uh, hear it can it can do it on your blog and your blog becomes almost your own little radio show your own little uh, television show it, it, it tells people about you it gives people a good sense of who you are so those are the tools so let's let's kind of finalize here let's understand that uh, prospecting never stops and no matter how much you get uh, reached uh, out by or marketed to Remember, you are being also uh, used as a prospect by the marketing firms who are reaching out to you to sell you leads, uh, to sell you different marketing platforms, to uh, sell you that prospect, no prospecting, um, that no prospecting uh, system, okay? How many times have you seen it? How many times you got an email? How many ads? How many times are you blasted? Now, let me ask you a question. How do you feel as an agent when you see all those ads and you are bombarded with all those emails about these kinds of uh, no prospecting platforms or these other things or leads, the best leads in the business, you know, uh, telemarketing leads, uh, 
sell by phone, all of these circumstances that you are bombarded by, how do you feel as a consumer? I mean, do you read all those ads? Are you, are you immediately jumping up and down? Are you happy to see those ads? Or do those ads start to form a sense of white noise and aggravation? Well, if you feel that way, however you feel about what I just told you, why would you do the same exact things they're doing and send out all your own white noise and somehow believe that the prospects you're reaching out to wouldn't feel the same exact way you feel? It's human nature, folks. It's human nature. It's human behavior. People don't like to be pitched to. Neither do you. Okay, so you're no different than all those other people. So why would you think that you can do it to them and they'd be happy about it? They're not. Prospecting is about relationship building. Prospecting is not something you, you send someone else out to do for you. Because if, you, if that's the case, you don't, uh, you don't really build the relationship. You're not too interested in the relationship. You don't see doctors send people out in a corner in a white suit dressed up by telling people, come to Dr. Smith's office. He's the best He's the best at help working with diabetics. Come see him. You could be out there dressed like a big jelly bean. They don't do it, do they? No, because they're professionals, right? Lawyers started to advertise some, and that's true. But many of the lawyers who do really well, the ones that are uh, really, really uh, successful are the ones whose advertisements contain them. The Morgan and Morgans of the world, these people, that's him talking to you. That's not paid, uh, you know, uh, paid actors or somebody else. That's them. They're building a relationship. Okay, and the same thing for dentists and CPAs and everybody else. Start treating yourself like a professional. Start presenting yourself like a professional. Realize that you are as important as any one of those other professionals and that you have a professional practice. And that means that you need to be the one who's reaching out to the people you want to serve. You need to be the one who's personally involved with their welfare. They don't want to talk to a secretary. They don't want to talk to a telemarketer. They want to speak to the person who's going to work with them. That's what prospecting is all about. It's one-to-one. -one. It's meaningful communication in order to build a relationship. That's what you need to do. Okay, well, again, I want to thank you so much. I hope that this is beneficial for you. I hope this is meaningful to your career. And uh, once again, I just want to see you uh, out there and, and just knocking it, uh, knocking it out of the park. Let's, uh, let's uh, double, triple, quadruple your production. Let's build more and more relationships by simply helping people become financially independent. Have a great day. And once again, all these videos are interactive. So remember, you can call me immediately by dialing your own number into the soft phone. You can download what we put there in a uh, white paper. And uh, you can also uh, email me and uh, go out to our LinkedIn page and join us and all the other social media aspects of us, okay? Have a wonderful day. And I look forward to speaking with you soon.